Hey everyone, this is Chris. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little bit of a highlight on a uh, video of some vocals that we had captured um, a while back and, and uh, I've never did a, a breakdown on it before but uh, it was very uh, amazing when it did happen. Uh, when the vocals came it was just like there was, there was absolutely nobody or nothing around us. Uh, it was really uh, pretty interesting, very amazing. But before I get into the video, I, I need to be able to give you some context of what was going on and why we were out there and uh, so forth. So basically what we were doing is we were returning to a location to where it looked like we had filmed what looked like a very gorilla looking uh, Bigfoot type of a face and uh, we were going to go out there and do a recreation of it and so this is where the video will start and you'll see us uh, talking you'll see me talking to Mark and uh, some shots of the, the face popping in and out and then and then from we finish up there and we move on to a another little spot to where we had seen uh, as you've just seen in the recent video where you saw this black looking face pulling down uh, and we smelled this gunk odor you know and, and everything like that so that's a little bit of the background that we're going to be uh, doing in this particular video and then we're going to get to the vocals and we're going to break down the vocals in, in a point in a manner that I that I've never done before uh, and there will be there won't be any doubt in your mind when you when you see that they are they are in fact vocals and uh, so it's very interesting so uh, let me get my uh, headphones on because I'll be narrating the video and uh, so here we go okay we're at the site right now and There's Mark, way back there. How many feet do you think this is? 20 yards? Yeah, he's way in the back, way in now the Mark's back. Mark's really close. Okay, close up. He's really close now. Okay, we don't, he's we're just a, trying to get it as accurate as we can. He's waving at you. Okay, now he's closer. He's probably about maybe 20 feet away. Yeah, about 20 feet away. Right by that tree. Okay. And I'm panning. And he's blinking. And the camera has a little bit of a swing to it because I'm on a... Uh, move to your left. I mean, move to your right. A three-axis gimbal. So here comes the shots coming up. Hey, there's the gorilla-looking face shot, as you can see. And that is a close-up of Mark for the comparison. And here's the interlaying of the two clips. Now Mark's really close. Okay, we're gonna do it. He's a, really close now. Okay, we don't. We're gonna do we're trying to get this it shot. It's a. Uh, it's a cropped. Okay, and it's now zoomed. he's closer. He's probably about maybe and twenty feet away. And it's a little bit away. closer. Then I'll transpose the three. image again. Okay. And he's blinking. Okay, so here we go. We'll go change it up right here. Okay, and I'm trying to align it as best as I can to give you a a, uh, a look at what it looks. You can see the nose, the eyes, the cheek, and the mouth. And then as you see, there's really nothing there. There's something yeah. dark, but there wasn't really anything back there. So we move in behind it, and we noticed. Yeah, something's been rooting around. Yeah, we noticed there was a bit of a depression back there when we checked it that one day. Mm -hmm. That's us. Mm -hmm. Okay, we changed locations. And uh, this is the spot where you saw that skunk egg looking head pull down. This is that location area right here. And I got right here. At to the left. And that's where the yep. other thing was. Right in between those right two trees. Right over there. Yep. Staying right where I am. Right up front stop. Remember the tree branch in the video? 
by the face. Yeah. And then it, d yeah, and then it tucked down. Yeah. You see a tree way in the back? Yeah. A tree way in the back? It might have been back out there as it ducked. Right. Mark's like, yeah. House. Right there. Go ahead. Well, we were over there. Okay, we're just going to make a... Really? You did? Yeah. Yeah, Drake said he had felt like he had been... He was getting watched. So it's very overgrown now. We pan a little bit around, come back. Since it's a GoPro camera, the resolution's not really all that great. That's why we don't use it really anymore. And then back to the spot pointing behind me. Okay, now pay attention on this part right here because it's going to be uh, important when we break down the audio parts. Notice I'm in the front and Mark is to the rear, and we're probably separated by, I don't know, five yards or so. Not, we're not separated too much, but we're not walking side by side either. Okay, so here goes the, uh, let me just stop it right here. Okay, all right, so, so it's going to be a little loud in the beginning because uh, basically Drake asked Mark to uh, if he wanted to take his rucksack. So that's why you go to hear a lot of ruffling sounds. And um, and so, sorry about that, it'll just be a little loud, but, and then we're gonna get into the mumblings and we're gonna do some breakdowns and some noise reductions and, and uh, so on. So just pardon it being a little loud right now, but you're gonna hear the mumblings coming up pretty soon. All right, so here we go. Come on. Just for the record, my recorder's on. I thought I heard something over there, so. Mumbling. Okay, Mumbling. that was Mark's. Mumbling. Okay. That was so Mark's recorder. We'll just mark it on right? this recorder, Chris. It's and so here it. comes Chris's recorder because we got to make sure that the mumbling sounds wasn't. Yeah, that's, that's Drake asking to change the rucksack, but we have to make sure the, the mumblings that Mark heard was, wasn't coming from Chris. Just for the record, my recorder's on. I thought I heard something over there, so... Mumblings. Mumblings. Really? Mumblings. Okay. As in like... We'll just mark it on this recorder. As in like voices? Okay. As in like voices? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you've had the time just... Did it sound, did it sound like... <laughs> no, it sounded yeah. like... Actually, like... So, mumbling, no, it was... Like somebody was mumbling. It's not, it wasn't me. But not okay, so here comes the sound. breakdown where we're going to analyze the, uh, the wave and we're going to identify... Uh, the vocals in the waveform. So this is just a clip of it and so what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the clip where the vocals were heard at. Okay, so I need to take some of that debris sound and I gotta remove it. So what I have to do now is I have to basically pick a spot of the video where the vocals are not and we basically have to do an, an analyze uh, and make a small profile for noise reduction and we collect the profile data and that will basically shrink it. Alright, so you have to apply it and as you notice the wave shrunk and here comes the test. Okay, so now we know most of the, the debris sound from our footsteps are removed. So we have to highlight the timeline part where the vocals are, are listed in the timeline, and then we gotta remove the noise.
Okay, it's, it shrunk down, and here we go. Okay, so now we're going to take it and we're going to amplify it so we can hear those sounds a little bit better. And you go to see, there's no doubt in your mind that there's, there's vocals going on there. I mean, look at that spike right there. It's really amazing. So here we go. <laughs> All right, and so we're going to amplify it just a little bit more. Try to get uh, get it to be a little bit stronger. All right, it'll just be a little bit stronger. Not not really much more. But as you can see, there's there's it's really interesting. There is something there. Yeah. So it was really amazing. I don't know what was being said at all. It's a very interesting. And so here's the wave uh, from Chris's recorder. So that was the spot where it was uh, listed on Chris's recorder, and um, and you just can barely hear that on 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 the Chris's recorder, which was just a few feet away from Mark. This one, what we're going to talk about here shortly, is is even more is even more weird, more creepy sounding, and a little bit of the background on this one was we uh, this is when we had first. Uh, discovered where the, the fridge was located at and we had went in um, using machetes to basically cut and uh, traverse our way over and uh, so it was uh, Mark uh, Mark myself Drake was with us so you'll hear his voice in there and I also think Willie was with us as well that one day as a different person. But uh, I assure you, uh, Willie does not sound like this at all. This is kind of really kind of an eerie, spooky, creepy sounding thing. That's me. The noise. What's the problem? What's her? That's probably left over from the 1920s. You could use this to make a... We're on track though. This is the right track. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, break it down and look into the wave of it as well. Uh, I never did it as uh, I never did that before on this one either. So uh, so here we go. All right. So I'm getting it ready to break down. And so that's going to be the target area that I'm circling. And so we have to highlight it and play it so you can hear it briefly. We're on track though. This is the right track. We're on track though. This is the right track. That's weird. All right. 
right there it is right there that's pretty odd I'm going to expand it I mean what's this saying something to do with a flip-flop I mean it's, it's very bizarre Okay, you can tell it's not Drake. Alright, so it wasn't Drake, it's not the boy's voice. Alright, so here we go, we need to look for it. I'm looking for a profile right now that I can use to do the noise reduction. So we're going to take a sampling of it, and so we're going to apply the noise reduction on the wave so we can maybe hear it a little bit cleaner. I gotta gather and capture the profile. Uh, just double checking it. Okay, so I have to pull it back in line, let it run a little too long on that one, but uh, so I double check it and, and there it is. So let's highlight that and stop it right there. Okay, let's apply it. Okay, and it shrinks it down. Okay, and we need to apply some amplification to it. I mean, it's very bizarre. I have no idea what it's really saying. So it almost sounds like pos possible flip flop. I mean, <laughs> It's very weird, so I'm going to try to get it up a little bit more on. Okay, we'll go try to amplify it some more here shortly. Very bizarre. Very, very bizarre indeed. And so, uh, I don't know what much to think about that one. And um, other, than, other than I do know it didn't come from... Uh, the boy's voice, uh, Drake, it wasn't myself. I was wearing the recorder. Uh, it sure as heck didn't sound like Willie that, that day either. Uh, and it's not Mark either. So, uh, so uh, that was it. And so I hope you uh, enjoyed the two clips and how we broke them down. And, and we've told people over and over again how we hear the vocals and, and we've we brought a number of people back in there, and, and the other people can testify as well uh, that there are vocals in that area. And the bizarre thing I want to say on, on the first vocal was, um, you know, if you look at the sound wave a little carefully, you'll notice that it sounds almost stronger than my voice on Mark's audio recorder. And so that's to allude to maybe something was even closer to Mark than I was. And that's even more mind-blowing, bizarre. Because if I was only five, seven yards ahead of Mark, then what was that? That sounded uh, closer than me. So, uh, so let's wrap this up, and I hope you did enjoy the videos, and I want to thank you um, very much for your time. And uh, just want to leave you with thanks. All right, bye.